I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will talk about a proof for De Morgan's law. It is a very important law for set theory. It has two parts. The first one is that A union B complement is equal to intersection of complement of A and B. And the second part is that complement of intersection of A and B is equal to union of complements of A and B. We'll prove them algebraically, right? So let's take the first one, which is complement of A union B. Let me call this as the first one. Now to prove it, let us say that we have any X element which belongs to the complement of A union B, right? So if it belongs to complement of A union B, that means that X does not belong to A union B, correct? Or it means that X does not belong to A and X does not belong to B, right? So X does not belong to A and X does not belong to B. That means their intersection, right? Okay. That also means that X belongs to, I mean I have to write X, X belongs to complement of A. If it does not belong to A, it belongs to complement of A and X belongs to complement of B. With that, we can say that X belongs to A complement and means intersection of B, correct? So that is how you can prove it. Now similar guidelines can be used to prove the second part. So let's begin by saying that X belongs to A intersection B complement, right? So that means that X does not belong to intersection of A and B, right? So it does not belong to the intersection of A or B. So that really means that X does not belong to A or X does not belong to, I mean, does not belong to B. If it does not belong to A, then X should belong to complement of A or X should belong to complement of B. And that gives us X belongs to A complement union B complement, right? So that becomes a proof for D. Morgan's law and we can use it in proving many of the properties in set theory. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.